Hey guys, it's Jen from Peter IDX. I'm sorry I look like a trash can today. My hair is just disgusting. It's just the way it is. So today we are doing our unboxing for Boutique. This is a Korean beauty box. I am a huge Korean beauty fan. Asian beauty, you name it, J beauty. I'm a fan. I've been a fan for like eight years. I just think they just have better quality products than we do. Even their drugstore products. I'm not gonna say all of them, but from what I've seen, they just have really good products. I just think they're right. This isn't sponsored. This company doesn't know who I am. I pay for this box myself. So without further ado, here is April's box. I know it's late, but it always comes late in the month for me. So it tends to come like the first of the next month. So, oh, yes. Okay, so I never cheat and look at spoilers like ever, but I did see by accident that the theme was superfood. So I'm so excited because last month it kicked ass and it's normally a good box, but some months like any box have sucked. I'm excited, okay. So the first thing I see in here, now just spoiler, most of the, pro like 90% of the products are usually like skincare, body care, stuff like that. Once in a while you'll get like a makeup product, but I'm okay with it being skincare. Cause the first thing I see here is from Sand, oh no, Sand Pen. I don't know, I never know how to pronounce this word. Sand Pen, Sand E P I N. Anyway, this is the Sand Bear gourd brush and almost everything usually everything in here is full size just so you know all right so this is the okay so this is a pore control cleansing brush this retails for eight dollars make exfoliating easy with this soft bristle brush that deep cleans your pores the head of the brush has grooves that help clean the area of your face that that helps clean every area of your face wet brush apply cleanser gently rub on your face in circular motions for 30 to 60 seconds so i have Cognac sponges and my Pop Sonic leaf that I love, and I also have a Clarisonic that I really like. So I'm not gonna open this, so I'm gonna save this for a giveaway, which is coming up soon. Right, the next product is from Farm Stay, and this is the It's Real Pomegranate Gel Mist. Oh, I love gel mist. Okay. This retails for $11. This jelly mist provides a cooling effect while moisturizing and hydrating your complexion. This pomegranate extract found within this mist has anti-aging properties and promotes skin cell regeneration. Let's give it a smell and a spray. Okay, so it does have a fine mist. I wouldn't recommend it like for setting your makeup or anything because it is like a gel. Ooh, it does have that nice like tangy pomegranate, but not like overly sweet. <sighs> that smells great actually. The next product is from Happy Bath Natural. This is the Facial Yogurt Kiwi Cleansing Foam. This retails for $13. This cleansing foam contains kiwi, lime, and orange extract. Helps fight oil secretion, helps brighten dark spots. It's made from Swiss yogurt enriched with vitamins, which helps create a glowing complexion. Anything that says glowing, I'm already like, ooh, really? A little goes a long way. A pearl-sized amount will do the trick. I'm almost out of my Cosrx gel cleanser, whatever. So I think I actually might use this next. Ooh, that smells great. Okay. All right, these I don't use. I'm all for like if they wanna send me a face mask, but this is the Shiny and Soft Foot Peeling Mask. I like the idea of these, but I'll never use it. The next is the Etude House Dear Darling Water Tint. This retails, oh, sorry. This retails for $4. This retails for $6. I guess this could kind of be like the Benefit Skin Tint. Uh, this is in the shade Cherry Aid. This water-based lip tint contains pomegranate grapefruit extract that, that's enriched with vitamins and hydrating ingredients which provide moisture to your lips. Oh, is it just for your lips? I wonder if you could apply it to your cheeks. I've never really tried a skin tint. I'm sure you could apply it to your cheeks. I wonder if it's a stain though, uh-oh. All right, I'm gonna actually apply it to my hand to see if it stains. Oh, like there is, okay. There is literally, it's just a tint. It'll look like you're sucking on a lollipop. It smells nice though. Um, it, yeah, okay. So this is like an everyday, just give a little bit of color to your lips. And the last thing in here is the Urban Doll Kiss Apple AC Therapy Sleeping Pack. This retails for $18. Apple extract helps fight oily skin and premature wrinkles. It also helps soothe troubled skin. The sleeping pack works overnight to ensure a beautiful natural glow. So you would do, so this would be the last step in your skincare routine. So I would do my, I would wash, I would tone, I would do serum, I would do moisturizer, and then I'd finish with this. Okay, it says it smells like apple. Let's, let's open it and see. Oh, it has a cute little, has a cute little uh, spoon too. Ugh, oh, that smells really good. Oh man, 
I'm a sucker for things that smell like apples, like legit apples. Not like that fake apple smell. I like how it smells like a Macintosh apple, like the tart, tangy apples. This was a pretty good box. Last month was better. This wasn't bad though. Yeah, for the most part, I'll give this a try. I'll put this into my, every few months I have, I like accumulate some Korean beauty products like makeup and I'll do a try five of the products that I use and show you guys. But yeah, so we have the sleeping pack, the face wash that I might actually use today when I take this off my face, and the gel mist, which actually feels really nice. And actually I might use this kind of thing on my body. I would probably use this as like a body spray. It still smells like smells nice. It smells fruity, but not overly like a Bath and Body Works spray would. For some reason though, as I've gotten older, those smells have become offensive to me. I know. This would be something I would probably spray like on my body to feel good and kind of have like a little bit of a scent. But anyway, I thought that was a good box. Not mind blowing, but a pretty good box. So that was it. What did you guys think? What product in here do you want to hear most about after I try it? Let me know your thoughts and comments in the box below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.